Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Resonant Rise. I'm here by myself today. My wife's at work. So today is Turtle Day. And we are going to do the initial prep of this guy, and then I will... I'll show you what I'm planning, and we'll sort of cut in and out as I accomplish various tasks today, because it's going to be a lot of boring stuff. What is that? All right, nothing important right now. So... First things first, I know very little about turtles, uh, but I do know a few little things. And the first thing is, if you give your turtle a name, um, it retains useful things like programs, um, fuel. I gather fuel can be stored in a turtle like that. So if I tell him that this is now named Mike, which anybody who's ever worked in computer science will know it's a bit of a little joke. Not a very good joke, but a bit of a joke. So now I should be able to refuel. There we are. OK. Next question. Refuel. All right. Took both buckets. Last question. Is it still Mike? And does he still have fuel? Yes. Okay, so I am going to fuel him up to about 20,000. That'll take a few minutes. And then I'm going to bring him upstairs, and I will rejoin you guys when we're ready to start excavating out the... Um... Yeah, when we're ready to start digging. I'm going to set up in just a second here. You might be able to guess my initial plan based on what's in my inventory. This little box here, this is what we got from the remainder of our little adventuring session. Uh, this plus, over here we have three silverwood saplings. We got that from, I think we killed, cut down four or five trees. So we're definitely going to need more. Definitely a, a very rough return on investment from silverwood saplings. I have no idea if there's a better solution. Uh, yes, one other little quick thing. We're almost ready to begin some more fun. I have ex greatly expanded the reed farm and Kate has been very busily working on her farm. It's coming along beautifully. We, we're starting to get more and more plants and she's also acquired a few animals. We've got some cows and some sheep. No pigs yet but all in good time, right? So that's that. So the plan is we're going to go with a very basic design for this initial setup because I'm impatient to get started on not having to constantly be digging. So I'm going to have this turtle do some excavating here. I'm going to use the turtle excavate. So it's just simple excavate and diameter. Now my theory is, if I do this right, and other thing is, I think if I put coal in the first box, he'll keep the coal. He won't get rid of that, which will let him use that as the fuel. So if I tell him to excavate eight, by the way, he is fueled up to 20,000. That is the max that he can actually hold. So we'll let him do that. We're doing eight because turtles do have a couple of very minor um, weaknesses when it comes to um, the game. They only... Oh, okay, the 8 includes this. Hmm, okay, interesting. Now I know. Um, actually, when he comes back, I'm going to grab him and reset that, reset that code. Because I actually wanted him to start. There we are. Alright. Change of plants. Just a slight one. Nothing too serious. We need them to start right there. Right there. And then the box needs to go right beside him right there. Because that's part of the tunnel system. So we don't need... There we are. All right. Excavate 8. There we are. So when, he, when he, I log out, or when the Chunky's in, he comes unloaded, his programming shuts down. So that's the first critical thing. So without um, 
any code, he will just um, shut down on me, and that'll be the end of that. So obviously, for obvious reasons, we don't want that to happen. So I'm only going to run him when I'm on. Uh, I'm going to do some AFKing on occasion. And then the plan is, uh, I'm eventually, once I have a bit more gold, because I'm absolutely out of gold right now, I'm going to replace this chest with a refined relocation chest, which will um, allow me to sep wrap, immediately separate the ores and only pump the stones. I think, yeah, if I do refined relocation, ores go one way, stone goes the other. It should let me take away the ores in the direction I want. Oh, you'll see. You'll see. For now, it's really just a simple mining operation. And what we're going to try and do is just have these stone pipes come around here. Now, I don't know if I can load these from the top or if they have to be loaded from the bottom. We'll find out soon enough. But hopefully this will work. We're just going to have this. Now, one thing we will have to do, I do not know exactly how these boxes work. We're going to need a bucket of water for this too, because we're going to want to flush. Um, basically, the water will help keep mobs from spawning in the mining zone. And uh, it will also dis uh, turn any lava into obsidian. Oh, hello, where'd you come from? Speaking of zombies, see this is exactly what I was afraid of. He just spawned in there. So yeah, minor problem there. So for now we'll put one block of water right there. And that will eventually spread to cover the whole 8x8 area. That's just temporary, of course. So the uh, other option is to use these iron pipes. They'll at least be it. They're sort of backflow preventers in the pipe world. Just, just trying to sort this out. I'm doing a little on screen just for your entertainment and enjoyment. Now I know iron, these uh, build craft pipes aren't the most popular thing at this stage. So we'll put an iron chest on first. And uh, let's see, now the direction we don't want things to go is, let's see, I'm not 100% sure how to read this. That must be the side they're coming in from. So hopefully that will work. We'll find out soon enough. Where did you come from? Good grief. Man, where did... Oh, God. Uh-oh. I think they're coming up from the caves, aren't they? Give me back my pipe. Uh-oh. Okay. We have a minor problem here. I didn't leave my door open. This is safe. Let's see. They must be coming up from here. This is my theory anyway, so we're going to just put a security barrier in here temporarily. And when I start AFKing, to let this guy work a little. So we need, he hasn't unloaded anything yet. We need a redstone engine, because this is build craft after all and a lever. Perfect. Redstone engines are the lightest and least powerful of the reds of the engines in Buildcraft. Oh, that is freaky. Well, excellent. Oh, hello turtle. So we want to find out what happens when this block reaches this this area here. Because that will inform. So the plan is, once I have a few more resources, is I'm going to start setting up a... As long as it lets it go through. It does. But of course, I have no control over which way it actually goes. So we're just going to break the pipe right there. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think it's going to be semi-random, unfortunately, until I get some diamond pipes in there. So it's really just going to be a case of trying to get most of the stuff into a few barrels here. And we'll drop the last pipe down into a, a chest at the far end. Oops, that was funny. A chest of... This, this is just, as I say, the basics, the very, very fundamental basics of, you know, a vaguely, let's pretend we're automating a little uh, system here. And so we're just waiting for Mr. Turtle to come back with a full inventory, which should happen pretty soon. Mike? Oh, you're not going to let me, you're busy. But the good news is it's uh, he's working really well. So they're not the fastest rig in the world, but if you only have three diamonds that you've managed to get easy access to, I believe, firmly believe, he is an efficient way for me to get access to more. It's these underground biomes that are going to really... Hmm, Ars Magica ore. I wonder what that does. That pick is going to break soon, but that's okay. Ah, there it goes. Fancy that. Right on schedule. All right. We're just, I'm just kind of waiting for him to bring back his first load to see what he does with it. And to see, more importantly, what happens here. Yeah, so this watery mess here will help keep him from uh, needing vast quantities of fuel from me as I, uh, well not, not fuel, but it will deal with lava that might be in his path. Now just to show you where I am, we're going to go, if you look on the mini map, we're going to go this direction away from our base, we're going to stay away from the ocean and some of the other things, and see what happens from there. But, as you may might realize very quickly, this is going to take a while. So, I will bring you guys back in in a couple minutes when he brings back his first load of materials. Here he comes. It's unloading time for the little guy. And let's see what happens with this mess as he starts to work with it. We've got rhyolite, we've got osmium... And he kept the coal. Excellent. That's exactly what we wanted to have happen. Now we've got a big line of cobble-related stuff coming through here, and we'll see what happens. It'll be interesting to see if it is even capable of going down into this chest here. So, good. Now I know these pipes are not intelligent pipes. That's just a fact of life with... Um, but once we have more of the stones in place here, we should be able to, unless we'll do this, and rhyolite goes in here like so, marble, All right, good, and it turns around and goes back the other way when it hits something it can't get to. So that's something we'll have to figure out later. Um, this is one place where the logistics pipes might actually work better than build craft pipes, but we shall see. This will just require a bit of tidying in the future, that's all. But the important thing is he's bringing home the good stuff. Slowly, but he's bringing it home. Oh, you hear that? I heard that. Yeah, stupid freaky creepers. Some of it's made it all the way. And, oh, dirt's going to definitely need a home. So one bit of good news is once they seem, once they're set, they don't seem to go the wrong way as readily. 
So it may just be a bit of QAing on this final chest. Maybe a little effort to get things where we need them, but that might work out okay. Good. Not bad, not bad at all. I think I think we can work with this as a starting point. This this is a very rudimentary uh, setup, but it's a setup that will allow the turtle to operate while I'm not 100% attentive to what he's up to. And I think I need to set it up so that I am not sure what I've just done there. But I have a sneaking hunch that this is not going to do what I want it to do where it is. So let's relocate that and put it right here to act as a secondary overflow. If things make it down here, I'm going to want them to go into either of, uh -oh, either of those, I think. So, oh, oh, hello, what happened? Oh, 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 are they going through? No, they're not. All right, so that doesn't work the way I thought it did. Always in, one way out. Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting, okay. So that doesn't work quite the way I recalled. But you know what, that's okay. And I think we'll just deal with it as it is. I uh, obviously going to require a little bit of attention, but not anything I can't manage right now. Um, I'll examine the cost of uh, logistics pipes here, and we'll see what, what is needed from there. All right, I will let this run for a while, and I will bring you guys back when I've figured out my next move. See you in a while. I have made some tweaks because the way I was having to manage this was just getting annoying. So what we've done is I've put in a set of opaque expansion item ducts. Turns out they cost two tin ingots and one iron ingot for six, so it's not a bad investment. And what I'm going to do is, I'm because this is going to expand quite a distance, these cobblestone transport pipes are still cheaper. So I'm going to use them for the long, the build craft stuff for the long haul, long distance transport. And then I'll use these item ducts here for the low, short distance sorting because they don't require... Then I don't have to waste my diamonds on sorting items here because that just seems a little insane. This, these ones automatically sort stuff into the right boxes and everything is well in the world they basically they try to put stuff into the first legal box that they can go into so as they go along here they'll look for the first legal place they can go and the stuff will go into it and if nothing else works they'll go into one of these two boxes at the end and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of this well some of this and just transfer what? man that's a lot of fossils interesting I'm going to just quickly transfer all this into its appropriate boxes here and see what we've got. But they're pretty easy to work with. The uh, crescent wrench here is just used to determine whether it's an input or an output or even connected at all. And a redstone torch is a simple way of activating it. So, nope, that doesn't go there. That goes there. That goes there. I think we have some new, potentially have some new stones here. These ores should really be in this box. Okay, I think I got this working satisfactorily. So I will bring you guys back with for the next project, which is likely going to be um, building a um, ore uh, processing facility in the nearby uh, area. So I will see you in a little while. Hello again. I've been sitting here for quite some time. Well, actually, I haven't been sitting here. I've been dealing with family stuff. It's been almost four hours. Enough time for my turtle to do an 8x8 vertical and a 16x16. 16 16x16 16. 16 16 is about the limit the thing can handle, unsurprisingly. 
Got a good dose of resources. More stone than I know what to do with. Um, fair chunk of all the various ores. And three additional diamonds, which I will save for future projects. So anyways, um, I'll start him back up later. Um, right now, I want to get started on getting some mechanism tools together. And I've been working my way through the uh, tech tree for mechanism. And this seems to be the place to start. This uh, metallurgic infuser seems to be the critical component for everything else. For example, a uh, electric pump right here, which is apparently used to get water for the uh, electrolytic separator, requires these enriched alloys. And these enriched alloys are made in the infuser. It seems to be the only piece of technology in this mod that doesn't require fancy ores and whatnot. So we're going to go get that set up down in our corner here and see what we can do about making the parts we need for some of these other tools. I don't have a definitive plan in place yet. I'm going to have to make more room here, obviously, but this will do for a start. Just tuck it right in behind here. So metallurgic infuser requires, I wonder if it requires power. Well, let's, um, under the assumption, actually not the infuser, let's, let's assume we need to make a, um, uh, crusher. That's going to be one of the main. So we've got lots of different crushers here. We've got steel crusher for metallurgy, a iron crusher, a bunch of crushers in metallurgy, uh, rock crusher in railcraft, but this is the one we want, the mechanism one. So this requires lava buckets and redstone, steel casing, and these. So steel casing requires steel and osmium. Uh, steel is made in here somehow. And basic circuits are made with, oh, we're not gonna be able to do this until we go to the nether. There you go. So I can get started, but some of this stuff's gonna require stuff I can't get until I go to the nether. But I can start getting my steel production off the ground anyways, if I can figure out what it takes to actually make this. So let's see, I believe Let's go get a iron and a redstone and see what happens. Because there's two things. There's an infused recipe, and then somehow we're supposed to, there's also a steel recipe, which I'm going to have to look up. There's a couple smelted iron ingots and a bit of redstone. And then let's see what we can do here. So if we throw, let's turn this off. A redstone, oops, oh, redstone powers it. That's interesting. Where'd that redstone go anyways? Disabled. Hmm. Let's see, does it take another one? Oh, hello. That's interesting. Intriguing. Need using, yeah, so it needs a lot of RF that I don't have right now. RF being a power system. All right, I'm going to do a quick bit of poking at how to power this thing initially, and I will be right back. Okay, it appears to use redstone as the power source as well. I've put probably too much redstone in there, but if I throw redstone in the, there we go. So we'll do this job. Oh, that's an interesting sound, isn't it? Very interesting indeed. It will produce a enriched alloy and use up some of that redstone. So let's see, well, the first thing we're gonna need is a permanent power source. Heat generator seems like a sensible possibility. Actually, I can make that heat generator right now. I have everything, everything I need to make one of those. Maybe that's the way to go. So if I go get a bucket of lava from my little lava supply down there and get all the other parts, I wonder if it will work off just a bucket of lava. 
That would be pretty cool. Okay, so let's see. It needed... Where is it? Heat generator. Iron, osmium, and copper. Iron, osmium, copper. What else? And two birch woods and a furnace. Two, two pieces of wood. Let's just assume that it'll take any kind of wood and furnace. There we go. And zoop and zoop. Let's see. So there we go. Iron. What happened to the osmium? I had osmium on me. Dang it. I must have put it back. That was silly of me. Okay. So what I get for not using this particular crafting table as well, because it allows me to retain information in the actual crafting table. So I guess this thing is designed to work on a, there we go, a heat generator. Now then, we'll need a lava source, as I say. I don't want to be careful I don't burn up these uh, barrels here, which would really, really suck immensely. So let's uh, dig in here. I might just move this as well. Ooh, I wonder, can you pick up mechanism items without destroying them? Hmm. Does mechanism have a wrench? I guess is the question. Hmm. That really scares me if I can't, I don't know if I can pick this up or not. All right, well, this was pretty inexpensive. Yeah, okay, good. Oh my gosh. Some of my tools are on their last legs here. Tuck this back here, and we'll put the heat generator right there. Come on. Can you turn around the other way? Let's see. That's the infuser, dang it. Infuser right there. Heat generator right there. Let's see. I wonder where the heat generator outputs. It's probably that side right there, isn't it? Let's assume it's that. And let's uh, let's go get a bucket of lava or two and see what happens. I don't anticipate the heat generator generating a lot of power, but it should be enough to keep me from having to burn through massive quantities of redstone to operate that silly little um, infuser majobber. Because then we'll go on to the um, electrolyzer, and hydrogen can be used as a power source as well. This is the lava tank I used most recently to refuel my um, turtle, Mr. Mike. Going up. It's a long way down to bedrock. It's amazing how far it is down to bedrock, actually. Just get these basics under control and then I can actually get up to the surface and start building. I can't wait to start building this castle. It's going to be awesome. I mean, it's going to be tech and construction and all that good stuff, but... Okay, so let's uh, close this up. And what we're going to want to do is we'll throw this in here and then we'll throw that right there. And hopefully... Does this have power? Let's see... Configuration, input, I think that's only going to be for, come on, clear it out, none, there we go, all right, power, it's not receiving power as of yet, 
Oops. Nope, definitely not. But if I had to take a guess, I'd say if it can't perceive it from there. Yeah. Nope. All right, so it is producing. So what we need is some sort of uh, some sort of cable to carry this, I guess. Oh, well, it was worth a shot to try and do it the uh So let's see. Inventory. We still got the filter on. Where's this where's the cable? Basic universal cable. Steel. So I can't get it without steel. Which means we need to get this thing working. Alright. So if I want I'm gonna need coal if I want to get any um silicon. Hmm, interesting. Coal is used for the steel. I need to infuse well obviously you need to infuse coal into steel to get any let's put I'll put four of those in, and I'll put in two iron ingots, and hope for the best. And we'll see what happens, and hopefully we can get enough to build one of these. Redstone and steel. You know what I need down here is, a, I need a crafting bench down here. Probably a tinker bench. In fact, I don't know why I'm using anything but tinker's benches some days. Ah, uh, heck, here we go. One of you. You go like that. Go like that. There we are. Because I'm sure I'm going to be spending a lot of time in the bloody crafting grid in spite of my hopes. Whoa, what the heck is that? That's enriched iron. Okay, then what do I do with enriched iron? Okay. Uses. More coal back in gives me steel dust. Okay, interesting. This is a two-stage process, not a one-stage process. Power it back up. Well, it's generating a respectable amount of uh, power. Okay, there's one. And then steel dust. Smelts anywhere. Possibly including, yep, it can even be smelted. No, not the crucible furnace. Smeltery. Yeah, I can I can melt it in the smeltery. That's useful. No, oh, excellent. Two of those. Eh, why not? Smeltery is basically my only smelting system right now, so we'll get my ingot cast. get that ready to go. We'll craft ourselves a pair of uh, steel ingots here in a minute. I have my steel and my redstone and that makes basic universal power cable which should allow me to dump power into boom! The metallurgic infuser is fully powered now. Nice. So I can can I break that with this? No. Nope. Okay. There we are. All right. So what we need to do is relocate something here. I think we're going to move this to the back wall. We'll run the uh, power cable. Actually, we'll do it right there. We'll run the power cable right here. No, nope, that won't attach, will it? Dang. All right, fine. Apparently this is the wrong way. All right, fine, we'll do it right here. And our reorientation will be right here. So there's our first. This is another definitive plan to reorganize this place because this is learning central. But for the moment, what really matters is the fact that this is fully powered and I can start making the stuff I need for all of the various bits of hardware. And I think the first thing we're going to work towards is a uh, electrolytic separator and an electric pump, which requires 
compressed redstone. Yeah, redstone and iron gives me these enriched alloys, which I think I already have one of. And then we also need the electrolytic separator, and that'll allow us to start producing hydrogen. Electrolytic core, oh boy, that's a lot of, um, okay, that's nothing I can't get my hands on, although, where do I get this crusher, pulverizer, seg mill, chemical synthesis? All right, well, I may need the crusher. I may have to go, it looks like the nether is pretty much unavoidable because these control circuits that require comparators, that requires nether quartz that can be growing. Hmm, intriguing. But regardless, the first important place we're gonna get this from is going to be from the nether. So um, I'm gonna get a bit more redstone and iron cooking here to get some more of these enriched alloys. I'm at least gonna get started. Um, I think that's probably gonna make another episode here. So when I bring you guys back, we'll probably be getting ready to go to the nether. I think that's what's the next on the list because my ability to build these um, lovely um, devices is severely impeded by the uh, current um, absence of, uh, of um, hardware or quartz, just the quartz. It's all I really bloody need right now. All right, we'll just throw this in here. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you all very much for watching, and Kate and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.